to Group Life. I'm Rachel Julian. Hey, and I'm Megan Boudreau, and we're your hostesses for today. Today we began a new series called Crossroads, and today's title was Path to Victory. Now, to arrive at a crossroads, that actually implies that you've started a journey. And so that is where we're going to begin tonight. All right, so for today's Kickstarter, we want you to go around the room and share your most memorable trip that you've ever been on. Let's have someone in your group read Matthew 4, 1 through 4 from the Bible, or maybe you have it on your Bible app. So in today's message, we said, don't shortcut God's care. Food was not how Jesus cared for himself. It was actually God's word. It was the scriptures. So let's be transparent today. When you are in the wilderness like Jesus, staring down at the enemy, maybe you're not always using Jesus and scripture. A lot of people will try and then they find themselves turning to technology, or food, or alcohol. Or even shopping. Yes. You know, I love the temporary high of brand new clothes on my body. Like, once I wear it, I got I need another new shirt. <laughs> so maybe it's shopping. But I want you to go around the group, and I want you to share, how do you seek comfort in these times? How do you really care for yourself? How you care for yourself matters. So take a minute and go around the horn. Question number two, if there is anyone in the group that has turned to scripture and found comfort, can you share your experience with that? Can you share the difference that it made or how it impacted your situation? Now read Matthew chapter four, verses five through seven. Question three. In today's message, we said, don't shortcut God's timing. Have you ever been tempted to shortcut God's timing vocationally, relationally, mm -hmm. maybe financially, or in some other areas of your life? Let's have three people share about different ways we shortcut God's timing. Have somebody in your group read Matthew 4, 8 through 11. Don't shortcut God's authority. Question number four. Only he can see you through to the other side. Is there anyone today or tonight that can testify to having God get them through the other side of a difficult situation? Who will be brave enough to share that? All right, group, now it is time to pray. So why don't men, you guys get in a corner, maybe next to the food, you can snack while you pray. And ladies, you can connect together. Let's be respectful of everyone's time and on time. Uh, don't forget to pray for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. God bless you guys, mm -hmm. and we'll see you next week. Let's pray really quick. God, you are so good. You are trustworthy. I love that you promise us in your word that you are behind us, you are beside us, and you are before us, that we are hemmed in by you, Lord, and that we can stand in that promise that no matter what we are in, it's not a surprise to you, and everything necessary to get through it is found in you. What a blessing that you made that promise to us. I pray for everybody that's in a group tonight, everybody that has participated, Lord. I pray that they can hear your voice, whether they turn to the right or to the left, saying, this is the way, walk in it. That they heed your voice, heed your direction, and that they find safety and refuge, maybe not in the situation, but definitely in who you are. I pray all of this in your name. 
Amen. Amen. Y'all have a great week.